out loud. Use a scissors to cut on the dotted line. Look at the picture. Use these symbols for the lesson of the day, which will be allocated at the top right side of each page. For example, lesson one, prepositions and directions. Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Nitsai. Today's theme is farm. Let's sanitize our hands. Rub, rub, rub your hands back inside and forth. Now your hands and mine are clean. We have sanitized. Rub, rub, rub your hands back inside and forth. Now your hands and mine are clean. We have sanitized. Remember to maintain your social distance. Today's lesson is letter F and the differences and similarities. On page seven of our booklet, it shows that we need to learn how to write letter F. Do we know what letter F stands for? Letter F stands for fish. You can see the one I have. Letter F for fish. Letter F, fish, fox, frog, flower. And I have a bigger frog here. The sound for letter F is f, f, f. Have you ever seen how the fireman fights the fire? He holds his hose pipe and he goes f, 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 to put up or put out the fire. Now close your eyes and repeat the sound f, f, after me. Can you say f, after me while you are closing your eyes? I'm holding up my fish in my hand as you say f, f, the sound f. My big fish will disappear. Close your eyes and let's repeat the sound Letter f, f, f. Now open your eyes. Where did my fish go? The fisherman caught the fish and he took it home with him. Now today we want to learn how to form letter F. Let's look at the board. I will show you how we form letter F. You curve up a little bit. Let's curve up a little bit and we go all the way down letter F's body and we put a line in the middle. Let's do it once more. Curve up a little bit and go all the way down letter F's body and put a line in the middle. That's how we form letter F. I will do it once more. Let's curve up a little and we go all the way down letter F's body and put a line in the middle. That's how we form letter F. Let's get back to our booklet on page seven. Listen to the sound in fish and write the letter. Look at the picture of the fish and let's trace the letter F. Remember 
how we form the letter F. Curve up a little bit, then go down the letter F's body and add a little line in the middle. Let's complete letter F for fish in all the blocks at the bottom of the page. Let's turn to page 8. On page 8 it says, which tools are different? Now let's look at the objects that I have on my table. We would like to understand what the word different means. Look at these cups that I have right in front of me. There are two yellow cups and one blue cup. Which cup is different? Different means it's not the same. Is yellow the same as this yellow one? Yes, it is. What about this blue cup? Is it the same? Look at the colors of the cups on the table and also look at the sizes of the cups on the table. Are they all the same? Which cup is different? I can see we have two yellow cups that are the same and one blue cup which is different. So this blue cup is different from these two yellow cups. Okay, let's move on and look at this next set of fruits that I have. I have two apples. And what colors are they? They are two green apples. And I have one banana. What color is the banana? It is yellow and the shape of a banana is different from the apples. So let's look and find out which one is different on these fruits. We can see the banana is different. It is a different kind of fruit from the apples. Now let's get back to our booklet on page 8. Looking at the booklet on page 8, we are asked which tools are different. In the first row, we have three hammers. Now look at the shapes of the three hammers and also Pay close attention to the color. Let's look at the first one. Does it look like the second one? Let's move on to the second one. Does it look exactly the same like the third one? There is one hammer which looks different. Which one of the hammers in the first row looks different? The first one and the second one look exactly the same. But the last one is different. It has a black color on top. So that is the one that is different. So you need to color in the black hammer using any other color you want. Let's look in the next row. The following row, the second row, I can see there is a set of nails. Let's take a close look at the nails. One has a plain nail. The first one is a plain nail. The second one has some lines on it. It looks like a screw. Let's look at the third one. It also has some lines and it looks like a screw. So which nail is different from the three? 
I would like you to find out and color in the one that is different. Let's move on to the next or the last row. We have a set of pliers. Look at the first pliers that we have. Look at the handles and compare the shape with the second one. Take a close look on the third pliers that you see in the last row and compare the three pliers. Which one is different? Take a close look at the handles of those three. There is one that is different. If you are able to identify the one that is different, I would like you to color it in. You may use any color you want. When we are done, let's turn to page nine. On page nine, our instruction says, complete the pattern. Let's move over to the board so that I can explain to you what you need to do. I have exactly the same pattern in the first row as the one in the booklet on page nine. We have oval shapes. There's one oval shape and we have another oval shape and another oval shape. Now, we are required to copy the pattern exactly as it is. You need to complete in the first row, complete and copy the first shape, just like I have done. We have copied the first shape, and then we need to copy the second shape that follows. There it is, and we need to copy the third shape. So we are completing the pattern by copying the shapes. If we look at the second row, I have some uh, two little buckets, and they are exactly the same, and on the third a picture in the same row, there is an oval shape. So what you need to do, remember, you need to copy the pattern exactly as it is. The first bucket, you copy it onto the first line. The second bucket, copy it onto the second line. And the oval shape, you copy it onto the third line. Let's move over back to our booklet and refer to page nine. Now let's complete the pattern as the booklet shows us. In the first row, as I explained earlier on, you need to copy the three oval shapes on the line to complete the pattern. Let's do that. And then we move over to the next row. There are two little buckets. You need to copy the two little buckets and one oval shape on the line. Now be careful when you move over to line number three. Row number three starts off with one oval shape and then the two little buckets follow. So let's copy the pattern as we see it on page nine. Once you are done, let's move over to line number four or row number four. The pattern has changed slightly. First, there is a bucket and next it's an oval shape. And the third one is a bucket. So I would like you to complete this activity by copying the pattern exactly as it is. 
If you have finished that activity, now we need to move over to page 10. On page 10, I will read the instruction so that you may understand what you are required to do. It says, draw a line from the animal on the left side to its shadow on the right hand side. Have you ever looked at your shadow when you stand in the sun? When the sun shines in front of you, a shadow appears behind you. Now, let's move over to the board. I would like to explain what you need to do. If you look at these pictures that I have placed on my left hand side, there is a frog and there is a fly. Are you able to identify the shadow of these different things that are on the board? Which shape on the right hand side looks exactly as the one on the left hand side? Let's look at the frog and try to trace over the frog's shape. It has some two eyes there, they are nice and round. And we go down here, it becomes a little round and bumpy as we go. Does this shape look exactly as the one opposite? No. So the shadow of this frog should be the one on the other end right at the bottom. So you need to join or connect the picture with its rightful shadow. So that's the shadow for the frog. Now let's look at this fly. I can see a fly has two wings and a fly has how many legs? Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. It has six legs. Now let's look on the picture on the other side. Does it look exactly as the picture we have on this side? The shadow of this fly should be this one. I can see the two wings. I can see the legs of the fly. I can see the fly's head. So the shadow of this fly should be the one on top. So from the fly, we must draw a line to join the rightful shadow. Now let's move over to our booklet on page 10. On page 10, it says, draw a line from the animal on the left side to the shadow on the right hand side. You must connect the dots to the correct picture. I can see a hen on the top picture on the left hand side and just below the hen there is a lamb and just below the lamb there is a cow. And lastly at the bottom there is a cat. Now I would like you to find out the shadow for these animals and connect the dots by drawing a line. If you have finished this part of the lesson, well done. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Now it is time for us to sanitize our hands again. Rub, rub, rub your hands back inside and forth. Now your hands and mine are clean. We have sanitized. Rub, rub, rub your hands back inside and forth. 
Now your hands and mine are clean. We have sanitized. Now it is time for you to remember to maintain your social distance at all times. Now I would like to invite Zoe. It is time to say goodbye to Zoe. Bye, Zoe. Wash away the germs. Akili and Happy Hippo have come to play with Little Lion. Little Lion doesn't want to play. He's afraid of germs. Germs can make you sick. Don't worry, Little Lion. We will get rid of the bad germs and then you can play with us. They hunt for germs high and low, inside and outside. But the germs are nowhere to be found. What are you looking for? Asks Miss Shrub. We're looking for germs, says Achille. Germs? Germs are everywhere.